the ability to throw punches. Well, I was surprised to see that both boxers connected on 30 punches through two rounds. Seems to me like Jefferson connected a lot more, but the stats don't say that. I think that Dulles punch is much harder. Yeah. You know, so I think that'll make a lot, a lot, a lot of difference to the, uh, to the judges. More spit coming out of Thompson's mouth. It's definitely. And teeth. <laughs> we hope not. We hope not. We hope not. Fighters <laughs> leading on each other right now. Yes, this is a three-round tournament, so fatigue and conditioning certainly going to have something to do with this. Right now, neither man really throwing. Jefferson tries to throw a flurry. I think at this point, all Dulles has to do is you know, win this round. Actually, you know, Oh, he's good. He's good. He's good. And I think the punches, score punch, I should say. Being inclined to show Jefferson the leader, but you never know. Thompson scoring on the inside. Jefferson not punching anymore, just kind of pushing forward. Thompson wants to fight on the inside, I think, right now, Shannon. He wants it on the outside. <laughs> You're right, Larry. I think uh, Derek's tired right now. Still a minute 14 to go. Thompson trying to find a way, trying to find some momentum here in the third and final round. Big left hand by Thompson scores, but Jefferson continues to push forward. A lot of blood for the mouth of Derek Jefferson right now. Yeah, he's hurting right now. He's very tired, but he's hanging in there. He's trying to, uh oh. Uh oh, Thompson stuns him. Somehow Jefferson hangs in and battles back. Still 40 seconds to go. I'm impressed, man. This is a great fight, three-round fight. It's very exciting, non-stop action. This is a great fight. I like the six one in the turn round, to be honest with you. Yes. Read my mind. Tell me. A lot of blood to the mouth of Jefferson. Yeah, a little bit on the bottom lip there. By the way, just took it right in the eye. Yeah. Well, these are great seats, aren't they, guys? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody gets set at 10 yeah. seconds left, baby. <laughs> it's now enough. I think, uh, I think my laid back man was too laid back. Maybe, maybe. Might have won the third round. You never know, though. You never know who won that fight. Tony Thompson and Derek Jefferson. And Derek Jefferson, if he did win, he looks worse for wear right now. He does not look nah. to be in the same type of condition as Tony Thompson. He's not looking like after that knockout. Boy, Derek Jefferson's mouth is a bloody mess. Sir, he's very, very tired. And he still has one more fight tonight. Tony. If he were to win, we don't know. Exactly. Was it Tony the Tiger Thompson or was it Derek Jefferson? Very close fight. Could, could we see a rematch between Harris and Jefferson? Could see it. One more to go, baby. Action. Both guys three. digging in, man. You gotta love it. This is what makes this tournament hot. Both guys, no one is on the line, $100,000. They're going all out at the end of the round. You gotta love that. Early numbers have come back with each boxer connecting 46 times. That's what I've got right now, Larry. I've got Jefferson at 46 out of 174, and I've got, uh, excuse me, Thompson, 46 out of 174. Jefferson, 46 out of 121. So if I'm correct, do you go now to the percentage? The percentage landed, is that what you do when the numbers are exactly even? Yes, indeed. If, if the fight was a draw, which we have to wait to see if that is what the judges here at the Trump Taj Mahal in Atlantic City, we have a decision. Who advances for a chance at $100,000? Let's find out from this Kabobby Lady Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge John Potteraj scored it 29 to 28. Judge Gene Williams and Kassan Cheeks both scored it the same 30 to 27. All to the winner by unanimous decision, Tony the Tiger Thompson. Tony the Tiger Thompson. The upset winner over Derek Jefferson. And you had one of the judges, two of the judges, had a shutout for Thompson. How could whoa, that be? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, hey, listen, I'm not a judge, you know what I mean? But at the same time, I thought Derek pulled it off. He was the aggressor. He let some big shots. Hey, things happen. You got to give it to the man from Silver Spring, Maryland, however, Sid, because he will have a chance at $100,000. I thought Derek Jefferson fought a nice first round, and after that, maybe the condition did come into play. Thompson was certainly the aggressor in the third round, and I think that blood coming out of Derek Jefferson's lip helped get Tony Thompson this decision.
The boxing ability of Tony Thompson bears out on the judges' scorecards, and he advances with the victory over Derek Jefferson. One more semifinal to come. Maurice Harris and Israel Garcia, two men with a shot at $100,000. I'm going to go on a limb here and say that Maurice Harris is going to fight Tony Thompson for $100,000, Larry. Well, there you go. Now, you're selling Brooklyn short there. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a good point. Uh, I'm, I'm going to chill on that one. I'm going to chill. It's a good thing down. I'm between you two guys right now because <laughs> Shannon would kick the crap out of you. He really would. <laughs> I'm about to get him right now. Don't hold me, Larry. There is Garcia. Ready to go. Now the Cinderella story, Israel Garcia, late notice guy, replaces the Italian to drop down, and he's got a great opportunity right now, right here, he needs to seize the moment. That's right, that's right. Uh, I think that it's going to be Thompson, though. Thompson and all these hires. I agree with Sid. That's a good move, Shannon. <laughs> Sidney, Maurice Harris has had the least amount of rest of any of the fighters, and he went three rounds against Gerald Nobles. I think in this case that's probably good, though, Larry. I can't imagine that Jefferson sitting around for so long after knocking out Ray Orson early he helped him. Yeah, he probably got some, some of his breath back, but you got to get cold, man. you got to keep those, those, those punches flying. I think that's going to help Maurice Harris here. From Newark, New Jersey, Maurice Harris. Bo Sugar spars with Lennox Lewis, spars with Shannon Briggs, spars with Mike Tyson. And he wants that 100 grand, no doubt about that. Is it fair to say that Sugar is the most widely used boxing nickname? Is that... I think I'm going to change my name to Sour. Sour, yeah. Sour I like Shannon that. Briggs. Sour Briggs. That works, Shannon. I'm telling you. I know my boy Herman Caseta would love that one. My trainer would love that one. So we're ready. One man will advance to face Anthony Thompson for $100,000 in our main event. Later tonight, also still to come, E. Oh, man, I can't wait. I'm telling you what, you're going to turn it out. Let's get this one started with Discombobulating Jones. Ladies and gentlemen, we now go to the semifinal round. Introducing first out of the blue corner again, wearing the red and white from Brick City, Newark, New Jersey, Maurice Moshiga Harris. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, Brooklyn in the house. Please welcome back Israel King Kong Garcia. Your referee, Ed Johnson. Boxing, you send in the ring. Both of you give me instructions to adjust the ring. That's because a good clean fight. Touch gloves with the bell ring. Come on, fight. Come on, guys. Touch yeah. up. Where's Lloyd right here? Take a look at the tail of the tape. Harris and Garcia. Both tall men. Both weigh approximately the same. Harris has the reach advantage. Plus the experience advantage, although he is six years younger than Garcia. This will be tougher for Garcia. First time around, Witherspoon didn't do a heck of a lot, and we saw Maurice Harris very active in that first bout. Garcia will have to fight a much better fight to get by this guy. Don't forget December 6th, it's Mia St. John and Christy Martin. Only on pay-per-view. Big, huge women's championship fight. You know, Garcia said he was going to outbox him, but I see right now he's going to have to be aggressive in this fight. Harris sitting down. He's not moving as he did against the Jedi. A change of strategy for Maurice Harris. He's going to stand in jet, Shannon. Definitely, definitely. He's going to try to outbox him. Um, Garcia's going to have to be aggressive. Look, looking at the arm length, he's definitely the, you know, the shorter guy. He's going to have to get inside and look on the inside. Look. Oh, God, big right hand. Big right hand by Harris. Garcia frustrated. Overhand right by great, Garcia. Great count. This is a great fight. This guy's got to be hungry. $100,000 could await the winner. Foot speed, hand speed. He's a beautiful boxer. He really is. Definitely. We got a guy from Newark and a guy from Brooklyn. Great fight. Great matchup. They probably met on the streets before they put the gloves on. It's a jab by Maurice Harris. Scoring points with that left hand. It was surprising that since Jefferson knocked off Austin the first uh, the first fight, we have not seen a knockout since. 
No, we have not. Still early, y'all. We still got two flags. <laughs> well, then you wonder, Tony Thompson sitting backstage right now, relaxing. He will have more time between fights than Harris. This is true. This is so true, Larry. But I don't think it matters at this point. I mean, right now, these guys are so close to that hundred grand. You know, they'll go right in right after fight after fight. Garcia smothering the punching range of Maurice Harris. Oh, beautiful combination by Harris. Oh, big, huge uppercut. I think that might have missed the chin of Garcia. If he had connected with that punch, who knows? Harris beginning to grow in confidence here as this round wears on. Definitely, Larry. And that's what it's all about with this kid, man. You know, it's about confidence. If he gets confident, it's a wrap for anybody.